Right, well, I'll come back to another bass video, everyone. Back out on the bass hunt again. It's blowing a hooli. It's a uh, Saturday on the things. Yeah, 13th of April, Saturday. We have about 25 miles an hour gust southwesterly. Ideal for this mark. I'll show you in a minute properly, but uh, nice rollers coming in. Uh, just finished pumping uh, blow lug worm. Uh, done quite well. We have some roller worms here. Some cracking size worms. Yeah, uh, just. Oopsie. It's pretty strong. It's coming sideways, so I'm gonna keep the tripod facing that way. Um, fishing one rod at the moment. Well, I will fish one rod for the time being, see if that wind comes down a bit. Uh, use your rig, use your rig again. One up, one down. With my tea not there, what it does, uh, people who have not watched my uh, bass videos, as you can see, uh, keeps it hooks to me is off the rig, buddy. It stands away from the rig, buddy, like that. Probably prevents not to tangle as much as like uh, normal knots. Yeah, um, short snood, about just over 30 centimeter long snood. Um, as always, use a circle look as a panel. Uh, longer snood, about a foot and a half long snood. Got a bit of rig tube in there, but it does same again. Just creates a bit of a boom there. Just helps it not to tangle. Okay, is that the same hook? Three all, and then three all circle. Right, let's get baiting up. Uh, send some uh, bait out in the water good conditions overcast lovely served out there just hopefully it's not too too rough um, I have to face the camera this way because wind coming from behind you know uh, it's blowing pretty hard um, what I'm doing just got my bait in the middle here size of that longer than my baiting needle right. just worried about the camera getting blown off This is the reason I use panel look on flapper rig. Just give it a few turns, pull up, check this out for bait. What fish could resist this? Low the bait. Just keep it nice and simple. No other components, no beads whatsoever, just floral carbon saying that you don't really need the floral carbon here today. Pl plenty of colour out in the water today after the storm. Well we still got a storm here today, 25 miles an hour coast. But idea is to keep this uh, worm nice and uh, streamlined so it looks natural as possible. Right get the bottom hook the baited up now. Get this uh, bait out there now. Hopefully get a nice bass. That's it, we're fishing everyone. Uh, forgot to mention, we're fishing the uh, last three hours of the flood, so three hours up to high water. Proper looks bassy out there. I don't see why. Why not get a few nice bass out? Must be some nice bass out there. Yeah, uh, I think just gonna stick to one rod at the moment, see how the fishing goes. I might uh, 
might get me a second rod out once the tide come into the shingles here and uh, we got we get on top of there we just look that side wind uh, massive bow on line now hopefully we've managed to see the bite uh, I'm trying a uh, shock leader on them today usually fish 50 pounds straight through bait but I've got 100 pound uh, braid on there just twice as long as the rod the house hopefully helps me cast out uh, further it's a uh, pretty low diameter lot uh, braid this so I just went there and bought some 100 pound braid thicker uh, could do with using a finger stall but I just don't like using them I like to feel the uh, line when casting uh, that should uh, improve the casting a bit more otherwise after a few casts you just get loads of uh, small cuts on your fingers with the braid right that's gonna be uh, pretty, pretty hard seeing the bite here today I'm not sure if we can pick the wind up but proper rough out here today right vicious look I'm pretty sure we'll see some nice silvers shortly There we have it, uh, nice. second cast. Obviously all that storm as well as... Yeah, nice little skewer bass. Uh, definitely inside, but I'm not, I don't think I'm going to keep the first one. I'm talking to Comrie here, mate. Oh, sorry, sir. Yeah, uh, inside, but I don't think I'll keep the uh, first first bass. Uh, hopefully get a decent size. Just give me a quick measure now. Uh, and get a release on about 48 yeah about 48 something that's 45 about 48 49 get in we off the mark first bus off the uh, session and uh bus number 44 for the year uh, still fishing one rod didn't bother with the second one yet I think it's pretty rough out here. I'll get this one back. If I get anything decent, I'll be keeping some today. There we go. That is done. Get in. <laughs> Bassmaster at it again. Let's get the fish bait out now. <laughs> I have to put the camera down here. Um, it's Blowing a hooli, don't want to smash the lens. But yeah, we're off the mark. Uh, love the conditions out there. Love the surf, that's what bass like. Uh, just talking to a comma, this random dog walker coming and trying to talk to me at the same time. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to stick with one rod at the moment. Uh, if the wind dies down or we get back up, up that ching shingles, might get the second rod out. If not, just uh, keep with the one rod. I was actually holding the rod, uh, literally putting it back on the stand and I seen the bite. Give me a good swap line. Bring it, bring it in. Happy days. Oh, what's going on here? Not the usual fish is better from that one. Uh, we'll go into a bit, a bit more depth. Having said that, you don't really need a deep water for bass fishing, especially in these conditions. This past uh, in the surf, anywhere you'll find the bass the people were some people just uh, trying to get bait out as far as they can but you don't have to when bass fishing you'll literally 
pass into surf. Doesn't have to be deep, like knee deep, we'll get a pass. It's no problem. Right, let's get this on now. Hopefully, get something uh, decent uh, for the table. Just getting rough and rough enough. slow than I uh, predicted really uh, looks good out there but um, about an hour tie water now as I mentioned uh, last time I came here in the daylight it was dead on high water and then it started catching on the ebbing tide so we'll start they still got time but that wind uh, pretty, pretty cold actually <laughs> 10, 11 degrees out there. It's rough. Still fishing one rod. Yeah, the soldier on. Good few fishing here today. Yeah, I hope we get a couple more bass out. Got plenty of bait. the face there it's a decent tide as well today 4.5 meter um, it was four meters the last time I fished there so a bigger tide overcast plenty of surf everything's perfect really can't see why not catch more here in these conditions right I might have to uh, rebait that pin that out there for 20 minutes about get a fresh bait out there use it crystal clear waters here but all the colour out there today so decent bait with a scent will do the damage so get a fish bait out shortly right hide you guys behind this tackle box really rough out there and i show you this there you go much better bass uh, probably over 50 centimeter mark nicely hooked and the scissors again well luckily I was holding the rod uh, it, it gave me initial bite and then missed it left it out there and it came back and took it lovely I will get the measure out now and uh, give it a measure probably about 52, 51, 3 pound, about 3 pound mark, perfect size for a uh, table. I'll, uh, I'll I'm going to take this and then quickly dispatch and I bleed it and you get nice uh, white flesh out of it. Get in, second one, right, give it a quick measure and uh, dispatch it quickly. There we go. It's actually bigger than I thought. Nearly 55 centimeters. Seems biggest of the biggest of the year, maybe. But lovely bass. Get the dispatch now, and they get a fresh bait out now. Oh, we got another silver bar, guys. Another nice one. Nicely hooked anyway. <laughs> Took both of the hooks. There you go, one out. And it's the second one. There you go, get in. Uh, 
probably touching 50 centimeters again. Bit, bit on the slim side. Uh, I might actually release this. Um, as you know, you're only to 42 centimeters and above. Uh, bus season started on the 1st of April. Um, you can keep two bus up until Jan end of January 2025. So I'm gonna keep one more. Obviously, that's my limit, but I think I'll release this one to buy another day. Uh, I'm sure we'll catch a nice big fat one in a bit. Still time, but I predicted nearly high water and then fish is fish switched on. So get get this one back and then uh, get another bait out there. Oh. Hope you guys can hear me. <laughs> Massive sea out there. Just gonna get a fresh bait out now. So bait look, ready to go out. One up, one down. Here's your rigs. Doing the damage again. But let's get casting. is really really hard today unfortunately I'll have to put you down uh, hope you can hear me uh, I'm gonna hold my rod now uh, missing too many bites uh, they don't slack water now just just after high water we should see a couple more bass at least But well, there's a massive sea out there today. And uh, we've got a drizzle coming coming down. And uh, that last bus was literally about 20, 30 hours out. Yeah, fishing uh, into a bit of a depth now, so... Bus coming right in, right close in. Right, I'll turn the camera back on if I have anything else, guys. Coral monster, guys. Coral monster. Number four. He's got a bit of scar on him. Anyway. Number four, only a tiddler. Get it on hook and get it some back now. Last cast in now, guys. Uh, just had another scooter bus tiny one so that brings the total of five bass and a 48 bass of the year so not bad going it's only mid april target is 100 this year i don't think i'll have a problem hitting that but uh we missed a couple of bites before and then some of them spot the hook on the way in Last casting now. I've not had anything to eat, so I'm pretty hungry now. I would like to fish here slightly less rough conditions. It's massive sea out there. I'm not sure GoPro's picking up or not, but I'll uh, put a short video on the on my phone, zoom it in. Yeah, would would like to fish it less. Well, yeah, it's made things a bit harder, uh, but managed five us out, so can't really argue. And the filming's been uh, pretty poor. Hopefully, the footage turned out all right. Sorry if I'm screaming at you because of the wind. That's it, guys. Um, if you're watching the channel on the TV. 
don't forget to hit that like button for us please uh, I know more than half of the viewers uh, watching the channel on the TV and uh, even myself when I watch stuff on TV I forgot to hit the like button so if you do that for us I uh, really appreciate it it just gets the channel out there in the algorithm and uh, share YouTube share the channel to recommend to people that's it if I get anything else on the last cast I'll bring you back if not, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.